Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with Tech Out, and today I'm going to do one of the long-awaited videos of showing you in detail my PC build that I built about a month ago. So first off, um, this is the Corsair C70 case in black. They offer this in a black and a military, uh, kind of like an olive green. Um, it's supposed to look like an ammo box, so that's, that's what's with the latches and stuff like that, um, which I really like that, that design. Um, this is just a sticker that came with the motherboard, the i7 sticker over here. I do like to put those kind of things on my PC. Um, I didn't overdo it with the motherboard stickers that came with a bunch more than that. Um, so right here, all you do is lift these up, pull that down, and the case it just pulls up and off. So inside, we have... Um, now this is my first PC build where I was actually able to do wire management. Um, I guess you're always able to do wire management. My other case really didn't have any room for it. Um, it didn't have any room along the back for any wiring or anything like that. So in here we have the, let me adjust the camera some. In here we have the Corsair H100i V2 water cooler radiator on the top here. It is in a, um, it pulls the air out of the case and pushes it out the top. Um, I have configured that way instead of blowing air into the case. I didn't want a bunch of hot air in the case. Um, same with the front. I didn't want it sucking cool air and blowing a bunch of hot air in the case. So we have the, like I said, Corsair H100i V2. I'm going to link some of this stuff, um, if I can find it again, in the description to Amazon. Um, so we got the tubes for that. This wire right here is the wire that plugs into the power. Um, this motherboard actually has a dedicated fan header for all-in-one water cooling pumps. Um, if, it do, if your motherboard doesn't, you can plug the Corsair into the CPU fan header and just set your fan to run 100% all the time. Because um, what it does is this controls the fan speed. So the fans are PWM, PWM controlled fan, fans and the water pump will control the fans. So the water pump needs a, you know, the constant 12 volts. Um, it doesn't want it being regula regulated by the CPU fan header. Um, but the all-in-one water cooling header does not do that, it just supplies 12 volts. Um, under that right there we have the M.2 drive. It is a, I want to say it's a, I think it's a SanDisk. Yeah, it's a SanDisk um, 256 gigabyte M.2 drive. That is my boot drive and my um, OS drive. Down on the bottom here we have the Western Digital. It's a uh, two terabyte Western Digital Blue Drive. That's just where I store my games and any large files, stuff like that. Back here is just a fan that came with the case, um, as well as up front here. Um, it came configured with two drive bays, so that one of these was up here as well. I took that out because I only have one drive. Um, and I moved the fan up front here, so that pulls air into the case, pushes it to the back um, from the front. And then this one down here pulls air from the front and pushes it to the back as well. It kind of cools the hard drive. Um, the other one, the thing was in here, they were both mounted on the front back here, so it didn't have as much pull from the front. Power supply, we have the EVGA uh, NEC 650, I think it's the, yeah, it's 650G. Um, that is 650 watt power supply, fully modular, so I only have the cables plugged in that I need. Um, it's two SATA, the motherboard 24 pin, and a CPU. The motherboard is the ASUS uh, Maximus 9 Hero. Uh, the CPU is the Intel Core i7 7700K. So it is a 7th gen overclockable um, CPU. For RAM, we have 16 gigabytes of Corsair um, Vengeance LPX. Yes, Vengeance LPX RAM. Um, like I said, Max, Maximus 9 Hero motherboard. Uh, graphics card, we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 1050Ti uh, Super Super Clocked Edition. Um, two fan card. And uh, that's pretty much it for the inside. I just have a you know disk drive that I had in my other computer in there just for installing drivers and stuff like that. Um, two fans up here are the ones on the water cooling radiator. Um, wire management, not too, too bad. Um, I think I could have done, done better on the bottom there. But, you know, for what it is, there's, you know, that's where all the, all the headers connect down there is on the bottom. Um, so they all run through this, this grommet down here. Um, and then we have the SATA connections right here, SATA connections right here, uh, motherboard power right here, and then the CPU power comes out on the top back up in the corner there. You can't really see that. But overall, um, I'm pretty happy with the wire management with the um, 
with the door on you can't see too much inside other than the lights um, so you don't see too much of the, the wire management um, so it's, it's pretty pretty good um, I don't have any problems with it, it's much better than my other PC I'm running Windows 10 um, of course Windows 10 uh, creators update I'll give you a look at the back I.O. real quick um, this motherboard does have some pretty cool um, features as far as the I.O. so I'm just going to try to turn the PC um, this case the C70 does have pop-up handles on the top so it makes it easy to carry um, for the back I.O. you do have your let's see get a good zoom on that you got a BIOS um, flashback button a clear CMOS button so if you're overclocking or doing any kind of modifications like that and you mess up really easy to restore to default settings if you can't get it to boot um, you do have internal graphics. If you have a Wi-Fi card on the board, um, it does have a slot here um, for antennas. I think that's what that's for right there. Either that or that's just on the motherboard. I can't tell which. Um, but I don't use Wi-Fi. I use Ethernet, so I've never, I haven't used that. Um, HDMI, display port. Um, the motherboard does have a feature where if you have a graphics card, you can use um, a combination of the graphics card and the onboard graphics at the same time. Um, so you can use both at the same time. It is a setting in the in the uh, UF, UEFI um, on the motherboard. Right here you have a... Um, if you want to update your BIOS with a USB flash drive, you plug into that first port, uh, first USB port. That's what the, sort of the square around it is for. Um, so you have four USB 2.0s right here, four USB 3.0s, a USB Type-C, a USB 3.1 Type-A, gigabit Ethernet, um, that is optical audio out, and then your you know your, your standard audio plugs right there, and then I have my graphics card, so I have VG, VGA, yeah, I'm sure, uh, DVI, HDMI, and another Display Port on there, and then down on the bottom here we just have the power supply. It is a bottom mount power supply. There is a um, an air filter on the case. I'm not going to pull it all the way up because on the desk it's hard to get back in. There is an air filter on the case um, right here. There is one on the um, front as well because you can mount a fan on the bottom of the case. If you take out the, I think you have to take out the um, the bottom hard drive caddy. If you take that out there is a spot for a filter up there or there is a filter up there. And then there's one on the front as well for the fans coming in. And then, you know, your back fan right here. You do have two spots. If you did want to add a custom water cooling loop, you do have two outputs you can punch, punch out right here. Um, and that's it for the Corsair C70. Back panel comes off the same way. Um, back there, it's just the, the wiring and stuff like that. So that is my build. In total, it was about, um, I'd say about $1,200 to build this. That includes like the M.2, um, that does not include the graphics card because I bought that a little bit earlier and I was using it in my other PC. Um, that's why it's a 1050 Ti, not like something like a 1060 or 1070 um, because I had it in my other PC already and it works fine so I'm, I'm just still using it. It was a $160 card so if it, if it dies it's not a huge deal. So still using that. Um, but that's my PC build. This has been Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe down below and as always have a great day.